We picked up Fat Man and Little Boy, the components of the two atomic bombs. On the night of July 30th, we encountered uh, Commander Hoshimoto. He fires a spread of six torpedoes. Two hit us. It blew the bow off, or half of the bow off, and the first torpedo. One fellow says, oh my God, there it goes, and the ship was standing straight up. The propellers were still turning, and all of a sudden it disappeared. First night, I didn't have a life jacket for from 12 o'clock to about 5 o'clock in the morning. I was just swimming all that time. And of course, uh, we said, oh my gosh, uh, they know we're coming. No problem. Just have to sit, out, sit it out a little bit, you know. Well, of course, day, one day went on to another day. And... At any given time, you could look out and see a big fin swimming around and around and around. All of a sudden, you hear a blood-curdling scream, and you look, and you see, uh, uh, you know, the shark had taken him under. I did have one shark go right through my legs, and I said, oh boy, I'm glad he didn't like me. By the third or fourth day, your skin was just rotting off. I've seen a lot of guys just crack and go drink the water and give up, or, just, or they swim off to imaginary islands. All of a sudden, you know, I hear a plane. I hear a plane. Look, look, I see a plane. And here he's flying about 4,000 feet. Well, we are waving, splashing water, yelling, everything imaginable. If he knew we were down there, impossible for him to see it. I became very good friends with Chuck Gwen, the pilot that spotted us, be the savior, you know, our angel. <laughs> It bears on your mind quite often. And you think about it, you don't provide a day without it. Not a day goes by that something I think about. 